Hi folks, welcome once again to Gaz Labs and today I'm going to be looking at uh, Ham Radio Deluxe. We're going to be hooking it up with a WSJTX, but we're going to use WSJTX to upload all of its uh, QSO data to the HRD logbook automatically. I've asked WSJTX to prompt me to um, add that so you can add any particular detail you want into that little little option box and then it just fires it straight up to the hrd logbook all automatic absolutely fantastic now i'm told there's also a way of doing it with uh, something like qrz i've not looked into that yet but maybe that's something for a future video but let's just dive straight into this and let me show you how i've got mine configured the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to pop over to your connection tab so when you start hrd this is going to pop up it's going to ask us about the what you want to connect to we're going to connect to in my case this is an icom is the model is 705 the com port is com port 8 and the speed is 38 400 these may be different for you obviously you might have a different radio it might have a different com port and you're certainly probably going to have a different um uh, board rate the uh, the civ address is is linked to the model of the radio um this is also, um, just do bear in mind that not every radio has a CIV address. It's primarily ICOM. So don't worry about these sort of things too much. Um, yours may be slightly different if you've chosen a, for instance, if you select down here, I don't know, we could say, for, um, let's go for a Yesu or something, so fairly straightforward. You'll see that the CIV v port is greyed out, as well as CTS, D, uh, CTS is grayed out but in my case i've got an icon okay and um i've chosen the the radio the 705 i know it's on comport 8 and i know the speed and i know the civ address hasn't changed you would basically then at that point select always connect to it if it's the only radio in my case it is um and here you can make down this side here you can make a selection to what you want to start alongside hrd um, I've set the um, logbook to connect because that's mainly what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the rig control itself and the fact that I can set it all up on screen um, and I'm interested in the in the logbook itself. But from that point on, you would just hit connect. I've done that before. Right, now at this point, what we need to do is we need to score the, um, the logbook up. So what we need to do is you simply click on the logbook and voila, this will pop up. And what we're interested in here is this configure uh, tab. If you can't see it, um, I did notice earlier on, it will disappear if it's too small. If you stretch it out, it does appear. Um, one thing you can do, you can add or remove buttons. And here, you know, for instance, I don't use Digital Master from this. I certainly don't use Rotator. Um, I don't use Main Tune or Sub Tune. Um, the rest of it i really can i really don't know whether i'm interested in it or not um i'm gonna say probably no so i'll get rid of some of those as well um and i certainly don't use that uh what else don't i use you can do whatever you want and if you get confused if you don't want to in the end you can reset the toolbar it's up to you um but all i'm interested in is this configure so just tap on that and then we're going to scroll down to QSO forwarding. Now here, this is where the sort of magic kind of happens to a degree. Um, we really need to set out the fill in missing fields on receive, which I've got connected. Um, look up missing fields on receive. Um, receive QSO notifications from UDP from other applications, WSJTX. This is important, this 2333 and you need to select the, the logbook. I've only got one logbook here. I've just, I've set up a new one. Um, I just called it my logbook. Um, and you then select that the station should be merged. And then from that point on, you're pretty much done in HRD. We need to zip over then to WSJTX. We're gonna whiz into the settings folder on this. And then we're gonna whiz across to, well, obviously fill out your, your bits and bots in here. Um, put in your call sign, your grid, um, and whatever else you need to do. The radio itself, this is important. Um, uh, in my particular case, I'm using HRD as the radio 
you could, if you want to, select your actual icon um, itself and just use the logbook, but I'm not. I'm using HRD as the central hub and then pointing everything to HRD, um, which is in turn connected to the radio directly. It just makes things a little neater. Um, so select Ham Radio Deluxe as your radio. Here I've actually set out as the, you can see what I've done. All this stuff um, here is is blank. The PTT method I've set up, um, well, I've got uh, ticked as cat, transmit audio sources, rear data, um, and the rest of it is either data packet and then fake it, just left everything like that. Then the next step is audio. I've chosen the audio is quite simply the USB audio codec, which is attached to the radio. Yours might be different if you're using something like an S SCU-17, or um, maybe you're using, I don't know, um, some other type of uh, data interface. It's that you need to associate that with that. What we need to do then is we got all that sort of set up. The rest of it is set up blank. CX macros, again, that is down to your personal taste. This is the important one. Um, I've asked this to prompt me to log the QSO. I quite like that. It means I can fill in the um, in the detail if I want to. Um, it means I can put in any any particular aspects to that particular you know that that QSO at that one time. So you can fill in all the bits and bats on that, and then you can just say yeah, update, and away it goes. So I've got prompt me to QS uh, to log the QSO. The rest of it I've left as blank. Um, I mean, you could, if you want to, I suppose, um, you do this sort of stuff. But as you can see here, it's saying that some some programs don't accept that, which is fine. I've left all of that blank. I've enabled the PSK reporter spotting, which, you know, for me, I quite like that aspect of it. It means that I can sort of see how well everything is performing and it means I can then go to the PSK reporter map and actually just see it. It's really interesting. I like it. It's good. It's good fun. Um, so set up the enable PSK report setting. Use the TCP IP connection. Um, do you know what? I don't know what that really does. Um, mm, well, I've got it set. It doesn't, it seems to work. You might try it both ways. It says there are some people it works for, some people it doesn't. Okay, so then the next bit is the important part. Okay, so secondary UDP server, um, uh, it, you need to enable. So enable logged contact to ADIF broadcast. This server name needs to be 127.0.0.1, and that's a local IP address. And then we need that port number there, which is the 2333 or the 2333 um, port, server port. And that bit is the important part you need to get exactly right. And those, I did mention that with when I had uh, HRD open. From that point on, it should be fairly straightforward. We just simply then say, OK, but I'll show you the rest of the tabs anyway. Um, here, the frequencies are just default. The colours, I've done whatever. Um, advanced, I've not done anything in that. But just say OK, and that's it. It's job done. It's it's saved. Um, now, you should, by rights, if everything is going well, you should be receiving some... You should be able to certainly be able to control the uh, the radio from the, um, from the, from the, from the actual uh, menu itself. And you should start to sort of see some QSOs sort of happening. Um, you can test your uh, PTT in the usual way. Um, if we go over to general, sorry, radio tab, we should be able to, well, actually you can't, it's greyed out, so don't worry about that. But you can certainly test the cat port and all that sort of good stuff. What else do we need to know? I don't think we really need to know anything else. It's just start playing radio, really. So what we'll do is we'll enable that, uh, that TX. People keep also asking me, about the ALC settings and stuff like that. Um, now, Jonathan and Richard at work have given me some some um, good feedback on, on this stuff. Um, you want to set the power down on the software. I'll show you that here. Um, I've set the power down. You can just see on this right-hand uh, side, 
I've set the power down um, quite is quite minimal, and you want to get the ALC, so you just get just one one teeny tiny bit of flashing bar, just a slight bit of movement, and that is perfectly perfectly good enough. Um, now we are we are actually calling CQ, so I'm hoping that uh, this will come up and uh, we will get sort of uh, a little something. You never know. There's some good call signs flashing up here. Actually, I can see um, NAXYM. That's um, that would be a nice one to get. Um, I hope you don't mind. Um, I thought that uh, while I'm uh, while I'm doing the video. I would, uh, well, we could work a couple of stations. That would be really, really good. Okay, so it looks like we're, we've are we got someone there that we're starting to make contact with, which is really, really cool. How exciting. And let's let this uh, let's process. Now, just to, to let you know, I'm only running very low power here, seven and a half watts. It looks like it's uh, maybe lost contact with him. Is it going to work? Yes, it did. So it's done its little thing. And now what we've got here, we've got this little box that pops up. How fabulous. Um, and it's asking me now to fill in the, um, the details and stuff like that. Um, so I can put it in there, you know on a video and I can you know the date is recorded and everything um and you can do an exchange sent and all that you can do the propagation mode or whatever you like you can also set it here that if you put particular if you put certain things in there you can actually select to retain that for the next time so you don't have to fill it in and I'm just going to then say okay now what I'm going to try and do is while we do it keep an eye on the log book and if all goes well there you go. It's added it then to the HRD logbook. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, who is what's to enjoy? <laughs> but I hope that it helped. Okay, and uh, yeah, just in, have fun with with the with the radio stuff. It's uh, it's good fun, and uh, as I say, don't get too frustrated um, when things don't go right. I I do. Uh, I I speak to uh, people you know quite a lot and uh, everyone gets very frustrated that they can't get it but you know just slowly slowly little bits at a time and and you'll get there so anyway have fun thanks for watching see you soon